Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome to this video. This is part two of this two-part series of when I studied abroad in Australia. If you didn't catch part one, go check that out right now and then come back and check out the second part. In this part, I'm just gonna touch on some real things that I faced over there. Number one being black hair in Australia. Number two being some racial stereotypes that I actually faced. And number three being some study abroad or travel tips if you're thinking about making a trip over to Australia. So stick around and I got some good treats for you. So let's talk hair in Australia. Back in Australia in 2012, I was on that creamy crack. When I went to Australia, I installed micro braids into my hair. So I had those for the first two or three months. And that was a life saver. Let me tell you, black hair products were not something that you can find on regular grocery store, any pharmacies. I even went into hair salons and I could not find anything. I was looking for some perm. Let me tell you how I had to have my friend mail me a box of perm from the United States. That's how bad it was. It was a hot mess. I think I did find one place where they were selling perm, but it was perm that made your hair curly and not straight. And I think they had it priced at like $40, which was like, uh, no, I be getting them for like $8.99 from the local beauty supply store right around the corner. So if you are traveling to Australia for an extended period of time, if you can, I would recommend that one, you put your hair in some kind of protective style like micro braids, crochet braids, anything that uh, like you don't have to manipulate your hair for the time that you are there. And if you don't want to do that, if you don't like extensions, you want to wear your hair, then bring the products with you because there is really no market for black hair did have a lot of friends they usually wore extensions in their hair so braids and crochets or wigs and things like that so i believe that if you do look for it you can find some markets that do sell extension hair in terms of the hair products themselves i'm not sure where you can get those at the time that i was in melbourne australia i couldn't find it anywhere it's possible that that has changed now so definitely do your research or again just bring your own so yeah the struggle was real was real so once my friend did send me the perm box I had a friend there actually perm my hair. It worked out, I ended up buying a flat iron. My hair was popping, like my hair looked really, really good. But because I didn't have the products to give me the moisture that I needed, there weren't any salons that I knew I could go to that I could trust with scissors in my hair. By the time I got home, I literally had to cut off like four or five inches because my hair had so many split ends and it, it was just all bad. So that's why I said the micro braids saved my hair hair all right y'all thank you so much for sticking it out to the end i'm actually going to turn this study abroad experience to australia into a three-part series so stop by next week sunday for the third part in which i'll touch on some important racial stereotypes that i as a black african-american faced in australia and then if you're thinking about traveling to australia if you're thinking about studying abroad in australia if you are having dreams and wishes about singing in the Sydney Opera House, then definitely come by because I have some really cool travel tips for you. And if you have any questions, any specific questions about my experience, definitely drop whoops, definitely drop those questions in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Have a good day. Good on ya!